uh, there's too many persnickety people on the internet and um, and I'm sensitive. I don't want people to be mad at me. I don't want people to say mean things in the comments, but I guess, you know, it's uh, COVID Corona time. I don't have a job anymore. So I'm gonna try to make some, some shows, some work down here for you, for me, for all of us, okay? Um, so today, first video, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm going to introduce myself, a little bit about my background, then I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the basement, and then we're going to go from there. If you are already bored, I have a suggestion for you or a little something for you here. I'm going to wear him the whole time, so you'll always have something awesome to look at in case everything else is boring. Nick, is he in the shop? He is. All right. This is Cisco von Schnitzel, the world's cutest dog. He is my best friend in the world, and uh, I'm glad that he's here with us today. Okay. All right. So a little bit about my background. Why the frog lady? Uh, really not my choice. Kids started calling me the frog lady in the very first naturalist job I ever had. You see, I'm a naturalist. A naturalist is somebody who studies nature. I went to school for wildlife biology, uh, and I specialized in interpretation of natural resources, which is basically environmental education. So I went to school to learn how to teach about nature. Uh, that's what I do. It's what I've been done ever since I graduated many, many moons ago. Kids in some of my very first naturalist jobs started calling me the frog lady. It's stuck. Now I do love frogs, so it is perfect with me. Uh, Secondly, um, I have uh, a lot of rescues. I have a lot of reptiles and amphibians. I specialize in herpetology. Uh, I started my own business, Frog Lady Presentations, about 10 years ago, and I teach mostly now with live animals, um, live reptiles and amphibians. You're gonna notice I have several here in my basement, and that's what we're really gonna be spending a lot of time on over these next COVID, uh, COVID weeks. But um, uh, one thing I want you to know, yes, you're seeing animals in cages. Does anybody like animals in cages? Not me. I do not like animals in cages. Uh, if I could let everybody go out into the wild right now, awesome. That'd be wonderful. Keep in mind, most of these animals are rescues. They needed a home. That's what I, I did as I took them in. I'm trying to give them the best home I possibly can. And then I use them to teach people about why reptiles and amphibians are great why they are worthy, why they are worth living in this world with us and sharing the planet. And so uh, by using live animals, it just makes something happen with people. The, the connection really, really works. So um, we can get into that later, but I do want you to know I hate animals in cages too, okay? Let's just put that out there. All right? So this is where... Uh, I live when I'm not uh, showing animals or playing around on Facebook or being outside in nature. This is the basement, AKA the nature center, AKA the zoo. Um, I have several different reptiles and amphibians down here. Each one is living in a habitat that is specifically created for them. Um, you can't keep a, an American toad in the same type of habitat a sulcata tortoise would live. So everybody has different lighting, different substrates, humidity levels, all that good stuff. And when we get into specific animals later on, we can talk about each animal and how the and how each one is uh, uh, supposed to live. So, uh, quick tour, uh, Nick the cameraman, I'm gonna have you kind of just follow me around. Um, I have mostly amphibians here in this spot. Um, I do have one arachnid, uh, one tarantula. We can we can talk him about him later. Um, I'm not quite sure where he even is in there. Uh, American toads. I have giant African bullfrogs, several tree frogs, lots of different um, uh, aquatic frogs and salamanders. Um, this is my one of my favorite frogs in the world. Uh, one of my waxy tree frogs here. Look at that face, he's a, like a baby Yoda. Oh my gosh, have you ever seen Strong anything cute? Strong with the voice cuter? you are, frog. <laughs> have you ever seen anything so cute? Okay, um, red-eyed tree frogs. Um, and then I have lots of snakes. I have corn snakes, fox snakes, 
uh, sand boas, green snakes. Uh, follow me, Nick. Um, uh, the world's worst pets, unless you're keeping a cow in your house, that's a sulcata tortoise. Um, love him to death, but such a pain in the butt. That's my friend Diesel. We have uh, bearded dragons, tegus, uh, skinks, uromastics. I think uh, I'm ahead of you here. More tegus. <laughs> Uh, ball pythons, corn snakes, bull snakes, baby tegus, carpet pythons, um, lots of tortoises. Nick, come on over this way. Shout of the tortoises. We got leopard tortoise, uh, box turtle who's not normally in there, but, uh, Dirk is a little too frisky with her right now, so she's, she's hanging out. Uh, marginated tortoise, um... And Dirk, of course. Yes. Uh, the Red Foot crew, uh, everybody that has ever known me for any amount of time knows my lovely snake, Tidbit, who is hiding in there right now. Um, we have a black-tailed Kribo on the end, and Mr. Rexy Bear, who's oh, one of everyone's favorites, um, Chameleon. So, uh... <laughs> So, uh, that is uh, just uh, a very quick and short uh, tour of, of the basement. Um, let us know. Do you want to see a specific animal? We're going to put a, we're going to put the list of animals in the video. Uh, if you want us to get out a specific one, feed a specific one. Um, this one does not need much more although we can do him too <laughs> um do you want to see someone get dressed up we have lots of clothes maybe you'd like to see chummy the tegu wearing a hat or some fun kind of something i don't know um we all got to get through this covid thing together uh i don't know what i'm doing i'm gonna do my best if you guys want to uh, see something in particular uh see some animal see some feeding see a bait bat a bit, Sorry, a bath time. 